let's see what we can come up with. So on the left hand side is the tonality reference scale and in this case we have custom scale 14 which has a bunch of chords and triads. Now over here is our new composition shift 1 which is using dyads from that scale and then finally we have Shift 2, which is using tetrads from that scale. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Vision and Sound Part 8, Shift. So in today's episode, we re-entered on several points. We did a um, self-debrief watching the fashion show video edit that we finished in the last uh, part and wrote down a lot of stuff um, to help us feed forward for our next music compositions and feed uh, vid edits. We also had thought about something we call eight Venn circles, which uh, looks like this, although it's hard to read. But basically, we're doing compositions in this series like the one you just saw. Uh, we're using library music like the video fashion show edit which you saw in the last part for those that were here in video edits um, in between all that we're getting more and more footage from shows and events in virtual reality uh, we're continuing we've got some new presentations and lectures lined up but we just finished a bunch of that we're in regular meetings and work groups blah 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 and reading a lot of papers and webinars and so forth. So there's basically eight realms of activity or what we call Venn circles that are all in their Venn because they overlap each other uh, as this attempts to demonstrate visually. All of these eight things overlap each other to some extent. So anyway, it helped us to think about that because um, it kind of shows our work realms side by side. So the bulk of our time today was spent, as we just showed you, we wanted to get back to some of our own music and we wanted to work with um, what we call the custom scale 13, 14, 15. And those are, as we had shown over here, those are these seven notes, which are... Here we go. C, D, E flat, F, G, A flat, B, C. But for fun, we went ahead and hooked up our key step 37 controller and told it to play, you know, strums and chords and things. So um, we did go ahead and generate uh, shift score number one using our traditional method of picking out interesting sounding sequences like this. And we have a method for working with that called picking out the backbone. And then we want to just get some stuff on the table using our custom scales in all three uh, modes. And then where did our other one go? Shift two. Yeah, this one. So what we're going to do is play um, shift two. Uh, which we generated using our custom scale and the keyboard, which only plays the custom notes, uh, but also throws a little variation in in the uh, the chords. So here we go.
So that concludes today's stream. What we like about today's work is blending what we call the methodic innovation approach with um, near the end, perhaps a little bit of divine inspiration. Uh, basically, you methodically innovate to listen for cool sounding stuff. And then if you find cool sounding stuff, then you start picking up and working with that. So these last two tetrad sequences, this one here was picked out by ear, and this one is picked out by kind of following the functional theory of that particular CS14 scale. And of course, the fun of working with the, the MIDI controller, um, continuing to evolve our skill with it um, and do stuff. So uh, our ideas for next time are to continue working with the shift score series. Uh, we could add some backbones and arpeggios and then a good old friend to be determined because we did update our projects list. We marked off the fashion show as done, but we ended up adding more footage for the biking Viking boat tour. So that's going to need some fun work. Shout outs to Get On The Bar and Lily Coley. They stopped by and Methodic Innovator, who, as we said earlier, helps us reach divine inspiration. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.